will start the process of creating a new rule set that contains our general intersection rule template. Check in for clashes between MEP and structural models. Before we get started, let's set Salibri's units. Access settings from the file menu and select units. Set the units and decimals to the values shown on screen. Before loading the first IFC file for a project, it's good practice to select a role. Roles preload resources required for checking, classifying objects and information takeoff processes that will follow. From the file menu, access the role option and then select the open function. Choose the BIM coordination role and click open. We can now load the IFC models these can be found in the default samples directory. Locations for both the Mac and PC platforms are shown on screen. If the models are available in the recent model list, then you can load them from here. Otherwise, click Open Model from the File menu. Select the Salibri building, the corresponding Salibri building structural, and the ventilation models, then click Open. When prompted by the short names and disciplines dialog, ensure that you set the values as shown. The disciplines will be used in the rules to identify components. Navigating to the checking tab, we can see that setting the role prior to loading the models pre-populates the project with the rule sets of the role that are tagged with a gold star. Loading additional rule sets from the check-in layout automatically offers easy access to any of the remaining grey star rule sets of a role. Rule sets can provide structured grouping of rules that have similar requirements so that they can be processed and reported in a logical context. When creating rules it's important that you have a model loaded that contains examples of both the geometry and data the rules are required to check. This ensures that data locations are correctly identified in the parameters and allows you to evaluate the results ensuring the correct operation of the rule. It helps to work with a data rich model. This gives you the ability to find data that is consistent between elements that you can use in your rules. Once these parameters are identified, you can refine the export process, delivering only the parameters that are required for both your rules and the project deliverables. New rules can be added to either existing or new rule sets. We will create a new rule set to host our new rule. You can create new rule sets by accessing the rule set manager which can be found from the file menu. Once rule set manager opens the screen is divided into different views. Libraries these are the rule templates that allow you to configure your own rules. Each template is related to a specific type of check, i.e. data or geometry. Rule set folders displays directories of pre-configured rule sets. Initially, this list will be the directories provided by Salibri, but later on should contain your own locations. All the configured rules in the rule set folder view are generated using the library templates. The workspace is where we define the templates used and the main structure of the rule set. The info view for a particular rule allows you to set the names and descriptions relative to what you want to achieve rather than to that of the template. If activated, the gatekeeper settings allow configurations of how subrules receive data. And finally, the parameters allow you to configure the current rule. In order to create a new rule set that is automatically loaded in the checking tab of the current model, ensure prior to clicking the new rule set icon in the workspace view that you've selected the rule sets open in Salibri located at the bottom of the rule set folders. This special location displays the rule sets that are loaded in the check-in layout. New rule sets created here will also be automatically loaded. In the workspace, we can now click on the new rule set icon. If you expanded the rule sets open in Salibri folder, in the rule sets folders view, you will see your new rule set appears along with the ones that are currently loaded in the project. 
select the new rule set in the workspace and change its name in the info view. Rename this My First Rule Set. From the library view, we can then select the appropriate rule template for our first rule. We will create a basic clash rule. The template that we need for this is rule number one, the general intersection rule. This rule can be found in the Celebri Common Rules area of the libraries. These are listed in alphabetical order. Drag and drop a copy of this rule onto the new rule set within the workspace view. Select the new general intersection rule in the workspace view and then rename this to our requirement, MEP versus structural. Don't forget to add a description. This not only helps the users understand the rule's purpose, but also reminds the author if they return to a partially completed rule. In the filter parameters, we can set the component 1 to include all MEP components. Add a new row, leave the state as include, the component can remain with the value any. For the property, we can select discipline from the common parameter list values. The operator set to one of. Finally, double click and select the building services value. Select OK to accept the values and again to return to the filter. Add another row, this time changing the state to exclude and then pick spaces from the component list. Repeat this process again for openings. For component 2, carry out the same configuration, but this time use the structural discipline in the one-of option. Add a row to exclude openings. Set the tolerance for these initial checks to 5mm for both the horizontal and vertical values. Values of zero will produce hard clash results. Numerical input is controlled by the default unit settings. If no suffix is added, then the values adopt the default units. Adding a suffix will convert the value and the defined unit to your current units. Enter 5 and then add km for kilometers. Click the next field to see the result. Set the value back to 5 millimeters. We will keep the volume tolerance, the exceptions and the ignore intersection options to the default values. Your new rule set can be saved externally to be reused on other projects. Use the save as icon in the workspace toolbar and save the rule set in the default directory. It's automatically named based on our rule set name. Navigate back to the file menu and save your project. Name the project Rule Sets. Change to the checking tab. You can see that your new rule set is automatically loaded and ready to test. Highlight the other rule sets and then right click and use the disable function so that only the new rule set will be checked. In the results area, at a summary level, we can now see a series of issues with ducts clashing with the suspended ceilings, along with the structural walls. Rules can be manipulated by right-clicking on the rule in the checking view and using the rule parameters option. Please be aware that any changes made in this way may affect the rule results, potentially affecting previously created issues. Removing them completely or orphaning them if they exist in a presentation. We suggest that any changes required to existing rules where issues exist for the rule in question are carried out in a copy of the project. You can refine the results in many ways with the additional functionality of the rule. Activate the volume tolerance and set the intersection volume to 0.005 meters cubed. This will allow intersections that are below the horizontal and vertical tolerances, but create failures 
for elements that have a larger intersecting volume than specified. A good example would be a pipe that clashes with a floor slab within the tolerance values provided. To chase a short channel in a floor slab for a small intersection may be acceptable, but not so desirable over a longer distance. Close the rule parameters and recheck the model to see the effect of the changes. They now show only the larger intersecting volumes. Navigate to the file menu and then close the file. The dialog that you see asks if you want to save modified files. By default, if you've not saved the project since changes have occurred, the model will always be checked. The resources, however, give an option of saving them outside the current file. In this instance, the rule set has changed and you're being asked if you want to overwrite the rule set file saved externally. For resources that have not yet been saved, this will automatically open a save dialog for you to specify a location and file name for each new resource. Any resources that are not saved externally, i.e. left dechecked, will still exist in this version of the file. Congratulations, you just created your first rule set within Celebri.